What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbie. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. This is free general collective reading for Oracle card reading for August of 2022 for sign of Aquarius. This is resonate if you have Aquarius in any aspects of your chart. So, Moon, Rising, Venus, Fourth Moon, and Energy for your chart. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it apply. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate with the rest. Free general collective reading for sign of Aquarius. Love and appreciate each and every one of you guys. If you'd like to donate, it's High Priestess 205. The link's in the description box below. PayPal only. No cash app, no Venmo. Sorry, I've got a little toothache. Way, way, way back in <laughs> the back of my mouth. So I apologize. Um, if my speech is a little, uh, just saying. Okay. So, um, love you guys so much. If you like to donate, like I said, High Priestess 205. The link's in the description box below. Okay, so I did receive a couple channel messages as I was meditating on your energy for August of 2022, Aquarius. I encourage everybody to check out their Sun, Moon, Rising, and North Node signs as well for additional message or messages if they, um, if you can find anything in there for you. These are psychic, intuitive, prophetic messages. So one may apply, two may apply, two plus may apply, none may apply. Only you know your specific story and situation, not anybody else, okay? Ooh. Okay. And I just brushed my teeth, man, and it's still hurting. So, um, the channel message I received was, um, um, stalking is what I heard. Stalking. And then the second one I heard, um, a situation is about not to turn out the way you think it's going to turn out. That's what I heard. So you plug it in, how it resonates, Aquarius. Oh, so stalking and a situation is about to not turn out the way you think it's going to turn out. So whatever situation that is and how that resonates and applies in your own life, Aquarius. Um, apparently, it's not going to turn out the way you think it's going to turn out. Whatever this is, it's upcoming in the universe and how that resonates and applies. Okay. And then um, stalking. So I feel somebody could be stalking you or you could be stalking somebody. I hope you're not stalking somebody, Aquarius. And that's just a damn truth, but you never know. We've got like, uh, how many we got on here? Like 13, 13,830 people on here. So, I mean, who knows? Uh, I hope nobody's stalking anybody, but you never freaking know. I mean, people, the damn people do damn MK Ultra experiments on people. People wrongfully terminate people all the time. People lie on people all the time. So, I mean, hell, you never know. I hope one of you guys ain't stalking somebody, but who the hell knows? Spirit messages you have, son of Aquarius. Uh-uh, not on my chair. Someone isn't going to pay a very important fee by the deadline. It's going to cause you to communicate with a very, 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 very high position of high authority. For one, you will have this person jailed. It's that serious. Oh, my God. Whoa. So, what? What the hell, man? So, you plug it in, how it resonates. Somebody's not going to pay a very, very, very important fee by the deadline, I heard. Some kind of deadline. Whatever that is and how that resonates and applies in your life, Aquarius. Some kind of deadline. Um, they, it sounds like they haven't met the deadline yet, but it sounds like it's upcoming in the universe and it sounds like they have to pay you this fee, important fee, um, or somebody you're connected to, however that resonates. Um, for some, I feel it could be maybe rent, rent or business fee or fees or something like that, but however that resonates, I heard they're not going to pay it by the deadline. And once they don't pay it by the deadline, whatever deadline that is, I didn't hear specifically what the deadline is. It could be seven days, 10 days, 30 days, 60 days, 120 days, a year. I don't know. But how that resonates, or when they don't pay it by the deadline, you're going to communicate with a very, very, very high position of authority. And I, it's at least two situations I heard. And one of them, I heard you're going to have this person jailed. So that's, I mean, that that's serious as hell. So I feel you could be a position of authority too. And this other person, obviously, that you're going to communicate with is a very, very, very high position of authority too um, to have them jailed. I mean, whoever you are, Aquarius, dear God. Um, but it's a very, very, very important fee I heard. And whoever this is is not going to pay it on time. 
Ugh. Staff, you will be taken care of in difficult times. A, wa a significant water sign in your life is about to uh, start having severe mental health issues. One is a Pisces, one is a Scorpio. Severe mental health issues. Oh my lord. A significant water sign in your life is about to um, start having severe mental health issues. For one of you guys, it's a Pisces. For one, it's a Scorpio. Now, whoever this Pisces or this Scorpio is in your life, uh, for some it could be Cancers, but it, Heard Pisces and Scorpio, so heavy Piscean and Scorpio energy. Um, you know these people. For some, it could be your family members, your friends, your neighbors, people you, community members, co-worker, what have you, what have you. But I think you're going to notice these severe mental health issues or somebody else is, or uh, hopefully they go, go, go get some help. But um, you plug it in however that resonates and applies in one's life. Aquarius. Hopefully they go get some help if they're having severe mental health issues. Um, and But, you know, um, I don't know. I'm not them. They could have uh, Scorpio or can't, um, no, I'm not Cancer, Scorpio or Pisces. And their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Ortho, Moon, Haven, or Jupiter charts, whoever these people are and how they apply. Staff, you will be taken care of in difficult times. Ink pot, problems to be resolved. Legs, stepping into a new experience. That for some of you guys, that could be the situation that's not going to turn out the way you think it's going to turn out for some, possibly. Uh, their mental health declining severely, possibly. Her try again. I got two. Oh, I wish my tooth would quit hurting. Spirit messages you have like this. A child that was intentionally given to another family at birth and has been made to believe they are of this family through many series of chain of events. They're about to be they're about to meet their real family. For one, you want this to happen, for one, you don't. You plug it in how it resonates. Well, they have identity bracelets, but whoever this is, it's an adult. So I don't think they had the security identity bracelets back in the day. Um, to protect, you know, identity fraud and um, theft of um, children um, to be switched at birth and things like that. Because people have done that shit, and that's just the truth. Um, I know when my children were born, uh, they were born at um, Harris Methodist Fort Worth in Fort Worth, Texas. Both of mine were. And they had the identity bracelets, the security bracelets, so nobody could nap our kid, <laughs> our baby. Um, and that's standard in maternity ward wards but whoever this is it's a grown adult so this was years and years and years and years and years ago i don't think they had the security identity bracelets to protect um the children the babies from being that basically and being a switch to birth and all that but whoever this adult is they were switched to birth but i heard they were intentionally switched to birth and given to a specific family um but um but um Soon, they are about to meet their real family through many series of chain of events. Now, however that applies. For one, you want this to happen, and for one, you don't. So only you know if you want this to happen, or you know about this situation, or if you don't. However that resonates, that applies to Aquarius. That's very interesting. Okay, we have Deer and Nightingale. Um, for some, you could be dealing with an Earth sign, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, or another Air sign, Um I'm not another earth sign, an earth sign towards Capricorn Virgo or another air sign, Gemini Libra Aquarius. If you are, they could have, they could have Taurus Capricorn Virgo or Gemini Libra Aquarius and their sun, moon, rising, Venus, or them in Hammer Jupiter charts if you are Aquarius. And we have Toad. Oh. Dear.
here. Uh, pregnant Libra is about to become very significant in an Aquarius's life. Some in a positive way, some in a negative way. A pregnant Libra and a pregnant Pisces. And a pregnant Pisces. A pregnant Libra and a pregnant Pisces is about to become very significant in a um, Aquarius's life. Some in a positive way, some in a negative way. So for some of you guys, I think you're going to have positive interactions and dealings with this pregnant Libra or pregnant Pisces, I'm assuming they're fems, fem energies. For some, it's going to be negative interactions and dealings. Um, only you know your situation and story and who these people are. Not anybody else. It's a fem, pregnant. It sounds like currently pregnant in the energetic space, Pisces, fem, and a currently pregnant in the energetic space, Libra, fem. Um, and I did a reading, I think it was yesterday or the day before, about, um, um, uh, Oh, I'm sorry, my tooth is just hurting so bad. Oh, um, about um, uh, pregnancies popping up everywhere. Pregnancies just popping up everywhere. So um, it could be these people that are about to find out they're pregnant, or maybe they already know they're pregnant. There was a lot of pregnancy in that reading, a lot. People about to give birth, people halfway through trimesters. Um, people uh, about to find out the sexes of the babies, people about to find out they're pregnant. I mean, it was just all over the place. Um, you plug it in, how it resonates. Dear. An account, uh, a specific person shutting an account down at a banking institution for one, for one, a credit union is about to become very significant in Aquarius's life. I got that in Tauruses too and Leos. Um, so you plug it in how it resonates. And I know for myself, I can't speak to anybody else, but I shut my uh, account down at my credit union today. Um, I was currently banking or I was banking at Redstone Federal Credit Union. And I was since I was 18 years old. I'm 39 years old now. Um, old woman. But I was banking there since I was 18. Um, and that's just the truth. So for a long time. But I shut mine down today at my credit union, Redstone Federal Credit Union, and I went to an actual bank, an actual banking institution. Um, and I did it for reasons, um, to protect myself. And that's just the truth. Um, better for me. And, of course, everybody has to make the best decision for themselves. And that was the best decision for myself. So um, so I did. I shut my long-standing account of course i never had any issues with that credit union i've always kept it in the positive because that's just who i am um and always have been so they've never we, i never had problems with them but it was better for me so i did it um you know whoever this is it's at least it could be you shutting a, an account down or somebody you're connected to how this resonates but somehow somebody shutting an a, a account down whether it's at a banking institution or a credit union, is about to become very significant in your life, Aquarius. I feel they've already shut the accounts down or they're about to. How that resonates and applies, okay? It could be you shutting account or accounts down or somebody you're connected to, whether it's at a credit union, like I shut mine down at a credit union today, Redstone Federal Credit Union, example for me, or a banking institution. How that resonates and applies, okay? I went to a bank. I went to a bank. Um... And that's just the truth. But you have to make the best decision for yourself. For some, I feel it could be you that has shut these accounts down. For some, it could be somebody you're connected to. Okay. Dear. Oh, y'all. My tooth is hurting so bad. I'm sorry I keep complaining about it. But, Lord, it is so bad. Sorry. Oh. You thought an earth sign was a, a younger, a child earth sign is about to flourish. But you are about to get a huge wake up call. It's about to be complete opposite. Very negative energy. Very negative. This child is around. Okay, I heard you thought a um, child earth sign, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo child um, was going to flourish. But I heard it's actually going to be very opposite. Um, they're around very negative energy. So I think this is your child earth sign. Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, child earth sign. Um, it can be masculine or feminine. Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, child. 
that could have Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo in their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Ortho, and Hamer, Jupiter charts. I heard you thought they were going to flourish, so I think whoever they're around now, I think you thought was going to help them grow and flourish. But I heard basically it's about to go opposite. Opposite in a huge way, soon and quickly. Opposite in, opposite in a huge way, soon and quickly. These people really do not care. And it's about to be made very clear and very known. These people do not really care, and it's about to be made very clear and very known. Known. So you thought this child was going to flourish wherever they're at now, um, whether it's a masculine or feminine earth sign, but they're not. It's about it's about to go downhill for them. It's about to go downhill for the child, and I think you're about to see it in the child. I heard the people they're around do not care. So they really, I'm sure they portray out to the public and to everybody and their mama like in public and stuff that they do care about the child because obviously they want to put on a false mask but i heard they really don't so it's like actions speak but louder than words are they checking to make sure the child is doing what they need to do are they providing all the necessary tools or supplies or taking them on time to appointment or appointments or practice or practices or um communicating properly with coaches or counselors or teachers or doctors or what have you, what have you. Um, I heard they're around some very negative energy, so it sounds like very selfish energy, very selfish energy. I heard it's about the money, so something to do with money. Somehow they get money for this child or they did get money for this child or they they see this money uh, child as a honey pot as far as financial, however that resonates and applies. Aquarius. Nightingale. Bad legal advice for one Aquarius. It's about to be given to you strategically. Oh my God, that's so terrible. Whoa, I heard bad legal advice for one Aquarius. It's about to be given to you strategically. Oh my God, so somebody's strategically going to give you bad legal advice if this resonates for you. It sounds like it hasn't happened yet, but it's upcoming. But they're strategically going to give you bad legal advice. So they're not going to give you proper information to help you grow in uh, manifest and um, go up. They're strategically going to give you bad legal advice from a lawyer. But uh, it sounds like, I mean, lawyers are the only ones that can give legal advice. Um, oh my gosh. Whoever this person is. And the crazy part about lawyers are, unless it's a free consultation, you have to pay them for their legal advice. That's crazy. In a position of very, very, very high authority, Aquarius is about to be investigated soon. For one, you're already under heavy investigation. It's about to shock the hell out of you. Okay, in a position of very, very, very high authority, Aquarius, um, at least two of you. I heard one, you're about to be investigated soon. Uh, one, you already are under heavy investigation. It's not going to go well because of the people you are connected to outside of your workplace. It's not going to go well because of the people you are connected to outside your workplace. So whoever y'all are, uh, this elite, I feel negative low vibrational energy there. You don't treat people honestly, trust, respect, morals, ethics, integrities, or values. But you, um, it's somebody you're hanging around with or connecting with or communicating with outside your workplace. Um, yikes, whoever, whoever that's for. I didn't hear specific occupations there. You plug it in how it resonates. Staff, you will be taken care of in difficult times. A husband is about to become very significant in Aquarius's life. Uh, 
a therapist. And a sauna. A husband, a therapist, and a sauna is about to become very significant in Aquarius' life. Well, those, okay. A husband, a therapist, and a sauna. If you can afford those kind of things, absolutely. A husband, a therapist, and a sauna. So, I mean, not the husband part, but the, ther um, the therapist. I mean, because therapy is expensive unless you have insurance, and that's just the truth. Um, and um, a sauna, I mean, those can be very expensive unless you have like a membership to a club membership or something husband a therapist or a uh, and a sauna so you plug it in how it resonates you'll be taking care of a difficult times so i think maybe you've got something going on or maybe you're stressed or what have you what have you maybe your husband's gonna lend a listening ear or um the therapist is gonna lend a listening ear of course you know you pay therapy therapist really good money if you sit on that couch but you plug it in how it resonates and then um sauna so you plug it in how it resonates, Aquarius. Ink pot, problems to be resolved. A Taurus is about to get birth soon. A Taurus is about to get birth soon. It's what I just heard. A Taurus is about to get birth. Well, congratulations. Somehow this Taurus is significant in somebody's life. Um, it's a femme Taurus, and she's very heavily pregnant with child. So I'm feeling third trimester. Even if it's premature, um, I'm still feeling third trimester there. Um, heavily pregnant, um, Taurus femme. One of you guys, I think you know her. Um, who, uh, so somehow she's significant in your life. Whoever this Taurus femme is, very heavily pregnant with child. A lot of pregnancies in here. We have a Pisces femme pregnant, a Libra femme pregnant, a Taurus femme pregnant, about to give birth. And a Capricorn feminine is feminine is going to end up pregnant. It's about to shock the hell out of you. And a Capricorn feminine is going to end up pregnant. It's going to shock the hell out of you is what I heard. And a Capricorn femme, she could have caps in her sun, moon, rising, Venus, or thumb, and hammer, Jupiter, Taurus. Some kind of Capricorn feminine. I uh, heard she's going to end up pregnant, Aquarius, and it's going to shock the hell out of you. So whoever this caps femme is and how she resonates and applies. Communication from IRS. Communication from the state. Medicare, Medicaid fraud. Communication from the IRS, communication from the state, and Medicare, Medicaid fraud. So, I mean, I feel for some, you could be positioned to high authority and you're about to communicate with somebody about tax evasion. Maybe you work at the IRS and you're about to communicate with somebody about tax evasion. Um, energy is going reverse. So you have to plug yourself into the situation story where you resonate. For some, you could be communicated with about that you have tax evaded. Um, that's like prison. That's like charges, like prison time right there, tax evasion is. And I'm just being for real. But for some, I feel you could work at the IRS and you're about to communicate with somebody about tax evasion. Um, for some, you could be the one that has tax evaded. Only you know your situation story, not anybody else. Medicare and Medicaid fraud. So maybe you work for Medicare or Medicaid, and you're about to communicate with somebody with Medi about Medicare or Medicaid fraud, or you have committed Medicare or Medicaid fraud, and you are about to communicate with somebody about Medicare or Medicaid fraud, or you know somebody that has frauded Medicare or Medicaid fraud. You know, it doesn't have to be you. You plug it in how it resonates, and then uh, what was the other one? Tax evasion, Medicare, Medicaid fraud, and um, there was another one. What, however, that, you can go back and check it. But those are all problems to be resolved. Um, those are like prison. Those are like felony offenses. Like felony offenses. I feel for some, you could work in the police. You could work for the, maybe you're fed. Um, however, that resonates. But this is a lot, a hot mess. A hot mess express, this is. And that's just the truth. Um, a huge hot mess express. <laughs> if you're on the bad side of karma with this. And that's just the truth. Now, for some, like I said, if you work at the IRS, you could work at the Medicare or Medicaid center, um, what have you, what have you. You have to place yourself on the side of karma that you are on with this, okay? Legs, stepping into a new experience.
One, you're about to move physical locations, far physical locations, and start a new life. One, you're about to start, uh, move far physical locations and start a new life. And the witness protection program is about to become very significant in Aquarius's life. For one, you're going to help somebody get into the witness protection program. For one, you're going to be in the witness protection program. And the witness protection program is about to become very significant in one of you guys' life. For one, you're going to be in the witness protection program. And for one, you're going to help somebody get in the witness protection program. So you plug it in how it resonates, Aquarius. Um, new experience is the witness protection program. Whether you're about to be in the witness protection program or somebody, you're going to help somebody get in it. Uh, that is definitely a new experience. Uh, I think that's run by the marshals, I think. I think, but I'm not 100%. I've never been in the witness protection program, and I don't know anybody that's ever been in the witness protection program, to my knowledge. So um, you plug it in how it resonates, Aquarius, okay? And then one of you guys is about to, um, an Aquarius is getting a huge-ass wake-up call, huge. They have realized the water sign has lied to them in a huge way, and they're right, they have. An Aquarius is getting a huge-ass wake-up call, a huge-ass wake-up call. They're realizing a, a water sign has lied to them in a huge-ass way, and I heard, yes, they have. So whoever this water sign is and how they apply, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, they could have Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio, in their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North, Moon, Moon, Jupiter charts, if that resonates, it applies for you, Aquarius, um, whoever that person is. But I heard one of you guys is about to relocate far distances, and I heard you're going to start over. For some, I feel that could be the Witness Protection Program, possibly. For some, you, maybe you're just um, selling or you're renovating or renting out a home or you're moving or you're just moving. How that resonates. Um, I know I'm in the process of renovating my home. It's just taking forever um, because it's just me. <laughs> so uh, it'll get there. It'll get there. But um, but yeah. A Scorpio is about to get into a very severe motor vehicle accident. Younger Scorpio is about to shock the hell out of you. A younger Scorpio is about to get into a severe motor vehicle accident. It's about to shock the hell out of you. So some kind of younger Scorpionic energy. They can have Scorpio in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, or them in heavy Jupiter charts. I heard they're about to get into a very severe motor vehicle accident. It's about to shock the hell out of you. So you plug it in how it resonates Aquarius. Sorry, y'all. I apologize. So, a karmic sister and a karmic brother is about to become very significant in an Aquarius's life. And a karmic ex-lover. A karmic sister, a karmic brother, and a karmic ex-lover is about to become very significant in an Aquarius's life. So this is my karmic card in this uh, deck. My karmic card. So karmic is anybody that doesn't have good intentions for you, basically. And that's just the truth. Um, for some, it is a karmic brother. For some, it's a karmic sister. I think of you, Aquarius. And for one, it is a karmic ex-lover. So you're not currently in a relationship with them or a sneaky link or a third party or a situationship with them. It is somebody of your past that you have had sexual relationships with, it, with but not currently. Um, whether it's your karmic ex-lover, your karmic brother, or your karmic sister. Um, somehow they're about to become significant. Um, karmic energy strong here, but karmic's to you, Aquari Aquarius. How that resonates? Okay, I didn't hear anything else.
Respect on my name is what I just heard. Respect on my name. Respect on my name is what I just heard. Respect on my name. Respect on my name. So maybe somebody needs to put respect on your name or you need to put respect on somebody else's name, but some kind of respect on my name energy, whether you need to put respect on somebody's name or somebody needs to put respect on your name. You plug the um, channel message in, however it resonates and applies for you, Aquarius, okay? A nightclub is about to become very significant in Aquarius's life and a very nice sports vehicle. A nightclub is about to become very significant in an Aquarius's life and a very nice sports vehicle. So very nice um, sports vehicle, whatever it is. I didn't hear specifically what it was. Um, and a nightclub. So this could be you attending this nightclub or you work at this nightclub or you sing at this nightclub or you dance at this nightclub. Maybe it's an adult nightclub, for all we know. Um, but um, I think of, of the song, um, uh, Like a Stripper. Just saying. <laughs> Just saying. Uh, that's what I think of. But um, for some, it could be an adult nightclub. Like here in Huntsville, we have the Pink Pony. That's our adult nightclub. Have I ever been there? No. But do I have I known a lot of people been that have been there? Yeah. So, kind of like the Pink Pony. I got <laughs> For some, I feel it could be way more upscale than the Pink Pony, though, and I'm just being for real. <laughs> um, but you plug it in how it resonates. Um, and then a very nice, luxur luxurious sports. Ah, uh, I can't speak. My tooth hurts. Sports car. Um, so, it could be yours. Maybe you're going to purchase it. Maybe um, somebody gifts it to you. Maybe you're given this. Maybe, um, or what have you, what have you. Maybe it's somebody else's. You plug it in how it resonates, Aquarius. Okay, we're done. I love you guys so much. Everybody have a wonderful day and namaste.